I'm going to talk about the entire Chanel Gabrielle range. Welcome along to this week's video. My name's Antonia Timpany. I own Timpany's, a luxury designer resale store based near London in the United Kingdom. Do click here to find out more about us. You get 10% off your first order, including this incredible bag using the code NEWCOST10 at checkout. Right, before further ado, let's crack on with my video on this Chanel Gabrielle hobo bag. In fact, I'm going to talk about the entire Chanel Gabrielle range, but I thought I might show you this bag and talk to you a bit about it, actually. I have to admit, when these first came out, I was not a fan at all. And in fact, that generally is the case with me. I'm a slow adopter, six months, 12 months, sometimes years before I'm like, yeah, I love it. <laughs> and I have to admit, it was the same with this bag. I saw it and I just didn't get it, if I'm honest. And I think that has been the way it really has divided opinion. So I would be super interested in your opinion of this bag. Do comment below in the comments. So in this video, I thought I might just do a really quick history, a really quick talk through the design of the bag, and then talk a little bit about the other pieces in the range, and then finish with some prices. So this bag was first seen in the spring, summer 2017 shows, and it was the first major release Carl Lagerford has done since the boy bag in 2011. And I think probably, one of the major comments that it has is that it's very indicative of the current fashion landscape. It's quite unisex, it's quite androgynous. It's a real step away from the kind of classic flat bags that we've seen over the past few years. And I do think that probably does reflect where fashion is going at the moment. It's quite androgynous sometimes in ways. And I do think that this bag is quite a fresh and nice addition to the Chanel range. Now, if we have a little close up look at the design, what you can see is that you've got a beautiful lambskin leather upper here. This is quite a stiff leather. And one of my bugbears is that there's no feet on the base. And I do, whilst that might not have kind of added to the design, I do think it does uh, offer some level of protection against the damage to the corners. There's a beautiful and easy large zip pull, and it's lined in just the most fabulous bright red fabric lining. You've got two slip pockets, one zip pocket, and then you've got a key ring pull as well. Now, the bag features three different straps. So you've got a double strap and then two singles. And these actually feature three different metal types. So if I hold it up, hopefully you can see you've got the Rithium, silver and gold. And the most wonderful thing about this bag is that there are so many different options for wearing it. You can simply wear it on the shoulder or you can wear it cross body or my personal favorite way of wearing it is when you get completely tied up in it because I've just tried on another video and I actually had to stop. <laughs> Imagine she died, she died tangled in Chanel. That'd be my favorite way to go. But you pop it over like that and then you just keep going and you kind of get this really cool body chain effect across the body. And I absolutely love that because I'm kind of one of these simple girls that doesn't really, can't really be bothered actually to think about how much jewellery I'm putting on in the morning. And you've sort of almost got this instant accessory going on just with the bag. So yeah. That is a quick overview of the bag. Now let's have a little look at the different ones in the collection. So you've got 
four major bags in the collection. You've got the hobo, you've got the backpack, you've got the pass and the shopping. And then they each come in kind of different size ways. So what I thought I might do is just flash up some different imagery of the different bags. So a couple of examples of the Gabrielle hobo bag in the small and the large. And then you have a beautiful purse bag which then comes with an optional python skin and you also have the Gabrielle shopping bag. Now at this point, just drop me a line below and let me know what you think, which is your favourite one out of the collection. My personal favourite is the small. I love the fact that you can wear it all day, cross body, and then it looks great going out in the evening, perhaps worn um, like I showed you earlier in the kind of across the body with the chain going around the body style. I just absolutely love that. And um, one of the other things that perhaps people are appreciating about this Gabrielle range is that it's not quite as punchy in price as the classics so I thought I might run through some prices for you as well for the rest of the time now if we start off with the large Gabrielle hobo bag this retails for 4,800 US dollars and if we compare that to say the classic maxi flat bag that's retailing for around 6,700 dollars so there is quite a large price disparity there the Chanel small Gabrielle bag is $3,900. Nearly said only then. I mean, that is an astronomical amount for a bag. Let's not be silly. If we compare that one maybe to the medium flat bag, which is now $5,600. So again, another, around 2,000 difference there. And then you've got the Chanel Gabrielle purse bag, and that's $4,000. And then the shopping bag is around $4,100, something like that. Now, as I've said, the fashion kind of community across all the different forums is completely split. So after having a little look at some of the pictures I flashed up and the bag itself, do let me know your opinions on it by commenting below. And other than that, guys, I wish you a safe and wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye.